Sandra from asexualized.com and author of Asexual Perspectives out on Amazon. So how can you have passion without sex? So you immediately associate usually passion with sex, don't you? Well, I'm here to tell you I am a passionate asexual, but I don't ever want sex. Okay, so for me, I love passionate kissing with the tongue. So I call it making love with the tongue. Yeah, I really like that. Years ago, when someone suggested to me about French kissing with a tongue, I was like, ugh, gross. But then one of my exes started doing that with me at the time, and I got kind of used to it, and I even got good at it and liked it, you know? And if you get the right person kissing you, and you learn how to control the kissing, and do controlled tongue kissing with a person that you really love, it can be explosive. Yeah. So I don't need the sex, because when I've had sex in the past, it isn't like kissing for me. You know, it's disappointing, it hurts, it's not nice. I don't want that with the guy. I'm not interested in that, but the kissing... Oh my gosh, the kissing is like super uber, like hyperness, excitement to say the least. And I do like excitement in my life, but not sex. And I also like to kiss with my clothes on. I feel there's something so exciting. There's like such an energy when you kiss someone with the clothes on. Because you know that you can't ever have that person. With me, I don't actually want them in a, to have sex with them. But the feeling that my body may want them, even though I don't, it hurts, yeah, because I still experience high levels of arousal. And this is what people don't get about asexuals. They think that all asexuals, well, there's quite a stereotype. There's a, a number of stereotypes with asexuals. But one is about, well, you can't be aroused uh, you know, if you're asexual, you can't get, you know, in cases of guys, hard if you like. And with a woman, you know, I guess wet, that type of thing. But it's not true. Some asexuals can still get aroused, you know. And when it happens, it's a bit like, hey, what's happening with our bodies? Especially if it isn't particularly aimed at anyone. Um, in my case, I can get um, aroused over kissing or just from myself thinking about the word arousal so it's kind of different for me you know I hate porn I never look at porn never have gone to look at it it's not I don't need it I don't want it I don't like it you know but I love the passionate kissing with clothes on and I know if you're an aromantic person probably passion to you without the sex would be something like maybe being passionate over creativity so nothing like physical like the kissing but maybe passionate over art for example and you're both talking about this art piece that you absolutely adore and you're getting into it and you're like oh that's beautiful the way the lines are drawn the colors the figurines or the spaceship you know that type of thing and you're actually getting passionate through a mental connection and an emotional one sometimes or sometimes a visual one like art or all together so you can have passion without sex you can have the physical kissing passion and you can always have the mental and emotional passion passion does not have to equate to sex i'd love to hear your comments and views on this i'd love to hear if you're asexual what your experiences are of passion and what you associate passion with please leave the comments down below don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And please share this video with your friends. I really want to help educate people about asexuality. It is so important. Asexuality is vital in understanding one's own sexuality and how you re relate to the sexuality of others, you know? Even if you're watching this and not asexual, there could be someone you know who's on the asexual spectrum. And it's huge. It is a huge spectrum, you know? So please share this across all your social media channels and let's get asexuality on the map and let's get sexuality and asexuality, sexual and asexual, to understand each other more. You know, this is so important for forming better relationships, closer relationships, and for having more successful relationships. 
Until next time, embrace your quirky and each other's, and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.